what is going on you guys it's always castle in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your ps4 to your pc allowing you to use party chat let's get right to it Alright, so the first step you're going to want to take is open the web browser. Alright, so mine is Google Chrome. Go on Google and search up remote. Oh, sorry. PS4 remote play. Click on remoteplay.dl.playstation.net. Alright. Now, this is the home screen. Just scroll down to like this option is only here if you want to just skip right into Windows. Or if you're a Mac user, it's going to scroll all the way down to the Mac user steps. All right, so I'm a Windows user. So this is the getting ready steps. You're going to want to scroll down to initial setup. On initial setup, you're going to want to click this download link right here. This is a download link for the remote play installer. Click it. Click that when it's done downloading. Preparing to install. And you're going to want to just keep on clicking next throughout the steps until it's finished install installing. Okay, I already have it installed, so I don't need that. All right, so the next step you're going to want to take is open the remote play app. <laughs> All right, so you're going to open that up. This is the screen you're probably going to get. Go on settings and go to sign in. Now, I'm already signed in. It's going to automatically sign me in. Um, but when you click sign in, you're going to have to enter your email address to your PS4 and your password. You're going to want if you have a, the old PS4, I'm talking about before the slim, you got the fat PS4. Um, you're going to only, in it, uh, it's going to only allow you to use 720p on resolution. Um, if you have the slim or the PS4 Pro, you will then be able to use the best uh, resolution, which is 1080p. Uh, frame rates, you want it high. And you can use the keyboard if you want to, you know, like uh, use your keyboard to text to send chat messages or whatever you can enable that if you want to and then you're gonna press okay when you have that all set up next is you're gonna want to press start and now it's searching for the ps4 that you sign into on the settings you're just gonna have to wait a little bit get connected all right so now i'll still show you guys to uh the register manually process so if you guys are successful you guys don't have to worry about that but if you guys weren't successful, you're going to want to go on settings on your PS4. Okay. Let me just zoom in. Really. Now under settings, scroll down until you see remote play connection settings. Now you're going to want to go on add device. And when you go on add device, it's not going to show for you guys right now because I'm already connected. But um, when you guys go on add device, it's going to show you about eight different numbers. You're going to have to save. And don't close the web browser or the not the web browser but don't close that page you're gonna want uh before connecting all right so now if you guys weren't successful when it's connecting you're gonna want to go and register manually and like i said you're gonna have different like different i think it's about eight like one two three yeah so eight different i'm counting it meanwhile it's literally in order um so you're gonna add those eight numbers right here let's say it's seven six uh, that Da, 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 da. you're gonna want to press register and boom you should connect right away now those numbers were literally just you know just an example um but yeah and now if you guys are connected to your ps4 through your pc make sure to enable this microphone if you intend to use party chat now if you allow that now it says micro uh, microphone switch to the microphone on the remote play device which is the pc and now it's picking up my voice as you can tell it keeps on moving <laughs> voila now you can literally use the ps4 and have this minimized in the background while you're on youtube or while you're gaming on the pc you can chat with your friends among the party chat system and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are still having any issues please leave a comment down below and i'll get back to you and uh and i got one more thing to mention i did talk about in my last video that i wanted to give out my apex account away to a lucky subscriber but apparently that's against policy rules and um i don't want to go against that so 
I was thinking about a different giveaway, and I'm thinking about once I do reach 100 subscribers, um, I will be giving out a gift card in the amount of $20 to a lucky subscriber. Now, it can be a gift card towards PSN, Xbox, or Origin. Um, I'm pretty much going to ask the subscriber uh, what gift card he would like or, or she. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking about doing this every 100 followers, uh, 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 every 100 subscribers I get. So at 100 subscribers, I'm giving $20 away gift cards at 200. I'm giving the same thing, 300, 400, 500, 600. And hopefully once we get to a thousand, maybe I'll do like a $50 giveaway. Um, anyways, I hope you guys all have a blessed day. Deuces.